Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, college coaches and college football fans. This is Coach Anthony Williams, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. If you don't know about us, we are a startup company based here in Austin, Texas. We're focused on using our technology platform to allow student athletes at the high school, college, and pro athletes use our platform to tell their story. Uh, there's no longer a time where we have to wait for an interview or an interview on, on some of these network channels. Players can now use technology to tell their story through social media, through podcasts like this, to get to know them better, not just as athletes, but as people off the field. So I'm excited about having this young man with us tonight. I'll get to him in a second. But first, I want to thank our sponsors because we got to pay the bills. Our first sponsor is Buffalo Wild Wings. Good friend of mine, Brian Soltis, is a regional VP there. He is passionate about helping build a platform to help student athletes tell their story and build their brands. I want to thank uh, Buffalo Wild Wings for being a sponsor. I also want to thank our friends up in Nebraska, Go Edit Graphics. They do a great job of creating graphics for athletic departments to use to, uh, uh, to tie graphic design photos to their outbound messages. So great shout out to Zach and those guys up there. And then lastly, my friend Stefan Johnson with I Am Epic Apparel Line, a brand new, uh, exciting apparel sports apparel company based out of Houston. Uh, they, have a, they have a great design. They do high school uniforms. They do seven on seven uniforms. They do a little bit of everything. So uh, go check them out at Epic 24-7. Epic stands for Every Play I Compete. So shout out to Stefan and them for also sponsoring. With all that out of the way, if you sense a little excitement in my voice, you know why, because I've known this young man now for about two years. I was introduced to him by Jay Whitehead, my good friend out in College Station. Uh, Nick came to one of our uh, FBU camps and literally put down a great performance and his, his path has been up and to the right since then. Let me introduce you to Nick Carraway, class of 22, defensive lineman, linebacker. I like him as a linebacker, but that's just me because I'm a former linebacker myself. He's uh, going to be a senior at Bryan High School, which is just in the College Station area. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 6'3", he's 240. He can run like the wind. He's strong. He can, he can play in coverage. We'll get into that later. He's also a Purdue commit, so he'll be playing his college ball uh, in the Big 1G Conference. Uh, I'll, I will probably should let him tell this news, but he was recently named to the NBC Adidas All-American game. I'll let him talk about that. And if you want to reach out to Nick uh, online, all you uh, Purdue fans, you can see his Twitter uh, name right there. Nick, I'm excited, man. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. Hey, your, your voice went out a little bit. Let me do that again. So, Nick, how are you feeling this evening? Coach. All right. Hey, you're, uh, I'm going to pause it here. So Nick, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great, coach. How are you? I'm good, man. So literally, I, I really want to jump in, Nick. I mean, you're, everybody has a story. Everybody has a journey. And I want to, I want to share yours tonight, not to just ex, uh, to celebrate what you've done over the last 18 months and how you rebuilt your body and completely took your recruiting up into the right but to also help those underclassmen behind you at Bryan High School and all those other young players across the country who are like, man, I want to be like Nick. I want to go to a big time school like Purdue and, and things like that. Let's rewind time back to say this time last year, I met you at an FU camp in Dallas at the showcase and you showed out, you were a big guy, you could run. Tell us um, about your workout regimen. How did you get to being, not that you weren't small back then, but you have rebuilt your body. Talk about your workout regimen. Um, well, this summer I wanted to focus on getting bigger, like because I was I, I was big in my legs because I always I've always loved working legs. But this year this year I wanted to work on speed and working on getting my arms big. So I pushed it really hard in the weight room. I built a lot of muscle, lost a lot of fat, and I just worked really hard on uh, footwork and speed. You know, uh, Nick has. I know it's early, and I know this season you're probably playing both ways. You're so talented, but just going forward, Purdue, have they talked about what position you'll play? Are you going to be focused on a DN, a D lineman, or is linebacker in your future at the college level? Well, it's this position called the Leo. It's kind of like a outside linebacker hybrid. You come down on third down. I, I love it. It sounds amazing. Oh, that's to me. perfect. Yes, sir. That's going to be perfect for you because, yes, I mean, unlike other, you know, nothing against D linemen, but usually you hand on the ground, you know, you're, you're taking up gaps, you're keeping the uh, offense linemen off linebackers, but you can do both. I mean, I've seen you, I've coached you at a camp, you move good in space, you can cover man to man, you can drop in zone, you're athletic. I mean, you can run with running backs and tight ends. Uh, tell me, is that going to be part of that role, that Leo role at Purdue? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. Man, that's that'd be exciting. Exciting. 
Well, let's let's back up a little bit. I know we'll get too forward to Purdue. Uh, obviously, if you don't know out there, uh, Purdue is a big time academic and athletic university uh, in the Midwest. Uh, which should tell people about Nick that his grades are on point. Nick, tell these uh, these underclassmen that may be watching this podcast uh, how you attacked and made sure your academics were straight that allowed you to commit to a great university like Purdue. Oh, you got to be on it. You cannot do not procrastinate when you're younger. I had I had a problem like that. Freshman and sophomore year are very important for your high yeah. school high school career. Yeah, and you just got to be on it. You can't you can't fall behind. Yeah, we talk about no days off in the field, no days off in the classroom either, right? Exactly. Well, well tell us, Nick, so have you had, uh, you know, can you share, have you thought about what your family, what your major is going to be when you get to Purdue? Yes, sir. I want to major in business. Nice. Is there a specific part of business? Do you want to be in finance? you want to be in sales? you want to be an entrepreneur? Is there a certain area you're focusing on? I want to be in sales. Okay. I like it, man. Sales. If you can sell, man, you can, you can do anything, man. You can become a CEO. You can do a lot of things. I, I, I see that in your future a lot. Hey, tell us. So we talked about it a little bit earlier. So you came to FBU, you got a big award last year. Uh, you and I talked about it with Jay and with Chris, like the coach, I want to go to the combine. I want to play in all American. What do I got to do? And we kind of told you, and you just went out and did it. Tell mm-hmm. me that feeling just a few weeks ago at Top Gun when you were named a 2022 NBC all American. Oh, you don't want to know that feeling, man. My co- my head coach is there. It was it was amazing. Like, like to come like no stars, no no, no offers until this Christmas. Actually, I had nothing to be a all American. It's crazy. Everybody in my school is proud of me. I feel like the home team hero. I mean, the hometown hero. Yeah, you know it's it's it is a special thing. I've been involved in the game going on fourteen years now since my son played in it back way back in two thousand and eight. I mean, we just talked about it, but I want to ask you again. You're going to, you're named one of the top 100 high school players in the country. There are so many deserving players that could play this game, but we chose you. I mean, tell us not only how it feels, but tell us how, how, how much of an accomplishment it was because your hard work paid off. Man, it was a big accomplishment. Like offers, offers were, are a huge accomplishment as well, but to be named top 100 in my class, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. It shows that that's a small town kid from Bryan can do anything. <laughs> I hear that, man. I like I like that a lot. Hey, tell me a little bit uh, about, you know, you came to Top Gun and you already, you know, committed and everything. I love the fact that you're always out there. You're not, not afraid to go compete. You're always trying to get better. Talk to us about your experience out in Naples uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, it was amazing. I'm kind of sad we didn't do as much uh, covers one-on-ones, but yeah, it, it was amazing. I ended up going down to some defense men as well. It was it was pretty fun. I loved it. Yeah. No, for those of you who don't know Nick, I mean, uh, besides having great size, you heard earlier, he's got great quickness and explosion. And when he hits you, he's going to let you know. And so I can definitely see the Purdue uh, defensive coordinator and the coaching staff just licking their chops about all the different things that you'll be able to do in that Leo position. Rush the passer, drop in coverage. I mean, uh, I, I think you're an automatic upgrade to that Purdue defense. No disrespect to the existing players, but uh, talk about the excitement you have and uh, making that transition after uh, you graduate and going out and, play, and living in the Midwest. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm ready to be with all, all the guys, be with the coaches, be in the environment and be in the Big Ten, man. That, that's real football right there. Yeah. Yeah. I read one of your tweets that said uh, after you came back from your visit at Purdue that you said you appreciate the Purdue family treating your family like family. Talk exactly. about that visit and how that made an impact on your decision. Oh man, the hospitality was amazing. Everybody, it was all about me. It was all about academics. It was all about anything that I wanted to know. They answered all our questions. It was amazing. That was awesome. You know, we've got another, uh, I'm sure they have more than one, but there's a certain player that committed to them two years ago from here in Round Rock, Colin Sullivan, he's a receiver for them. Please make sure you hook up Colin. He's a kid just like you, hard worker, super talented, comes from a great family like you. I think you guys should definitely, you know, kind of spend some time together and get over those missing Texas and missing Whataburger and all that stuff to get you through <laughs> those, uh, those cold days you're about to experience up in Purdue. So make sure you hook up uh, with Colin Sullivan. He's one of my favorites up there. Uh, Nick, what kind of advice would you give maybe a freshman or an eighth grader uh, now that you didn't know then that has helped you with your uh, climb in recruiting? Don't, don't be ignorant. Just because you're not the number one guy right now doesn't mean it's not going to happen in the future. Keep your head down and work hard. Yeah, I like that. 
Will that, along with what you said earlier about Seattle's academics, the minute you, you step on campus, like there'll be incoming freshmen coming to Bryan this year. And I'm sure a lot of them will be looking up to you. In fact, let's talk about that leadership. You're a senior, you put in your time there, you're an you know, army, you're, you're all American. What are you gonna do to kind of help lead some of those fish that are gonna come in and wanna be like you in that, in that Bryan program? Lead by example, man. If I'm, if I'm busting my butt, they're gonna bust their butt as well. As well. Yeah. A lot of those young guys, they, they, they look up to me because I, I lead by example. They look up to me because I'm always working. They look up to me because I'm always early to workouts and I'm always there. Yeah, I like that. So tell me, you know, as you as these uh, as, as we get ready for the season here, and I can't wait. I think we're like 31 days away or something like that from the season started here. But uh, sure. what are your goals? I mean, you, you kind of accomplished. You got the recruiting done. I'm committed. I'm playing in the best All-American game in the country, in the world. What are your goals for this season for your senior year? Man, district champs, like like personal goals or like team both. goals? Not both. Oh, district champs, get out of the first round, go on okay. to Wednesday. Okay. What about your personal goals? 200 tackles. Wow. Only 10 touchdowns. Okay. Uh, and I want at least 10 sacks as well. Okay. Now, we, we, you talked about what position you're going to play at Purdue. Now, what do they have you doing at Bryan? Are you, are you playing both a little bit of DN and linebacker or all linebacker? Or what's the plan for you there? Uh, I'm a, I'm the will backer right now. It's our inside backer because we're running Tampa. And okay. I'm also our rush linebacker who is kind of like the will for us. I mean, the Leo yeah. for us. I can only imagine as a former defense coordinator, they're probably going to move you around so teams don't always know where you're at and have you blitz in and being coverage and delayed blitzes and rover. I mean, because you can run. Is that is that part of the plan they have, it, Brian, not to give away any secrets? Yes, sir. I'm going to be moving around a lot. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I can't wait to go to a Brian High School game this year. Uh, I know I'll either catch you guys there or here uh, in the more of the Austin area, but uh, I'm looking forward to you, to you doing that. Let's talk about, uh, so obviously, you know, you're prepared for college and your family's doing a great job getting you ready. NIL, name, image, likeness is blowing up right now. Uh, tell me your early thoughts. I mean, this thing's only like, uh, what, 27 days old now, but just give us, you know, share your thoughts about NIL and how you plan to, to utilize it uh, as you start college. Man, it, it's an amazing opportunity for all these, uh, everybody, anybody. As of right now, I haven't really actually thought about NIL that much. I've just been thinking about, you know, going and handling my business and, like, maybe the NIL will come. Yeah, actually, Nick, that is the best probably mentality to have. Uh, go out and, and be the best student athlete you can be, uh, have a successful transition to Purdue, and, and just keep doing what you're doing because it isn't always about what you do in the field or what's on your, your social media timeline. Uh, companies want good people to endorse their products or their services, and I think you're obviously one of them. And so I think you got the right mentality. Just handle your business, and if you're good enough and people see you as an opportunity to push their products, they'll come and find you. And I, I guarantee that will happen. All I ask, Nick, is that you and your family educate yourself on what the do's and don'ts are, uh, make sure you have a, a somebody that's got some law background, a lawyer to look over anything you sign and make sure you get a, a good CPA because whatever you do make, Uncle Sam still going to come and get there. So I'm going to understand the tax implications of that, okay? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, as we finish up here, Nick, and I do appreciate your time, man. Uh, you know, one of the things I was most proud of you on is, is just your, your the way you carry yourself. For somebody who's had a, had a, a, a huge rise in the last year, you're still very humble. Talk about how what how you kept from getting big headed and thinking, okay, well, I'm the man, or I don't have to work hard anymore. I got Purdue, and now I'm playing the All American game. What keeps you? Which keeps your grind on fire? What 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 motivates you? Man, I, I don't want to. I don't want to get past. I don't want to get past. And I'm, and those guys that are ranked higher than me on all those recruiting sites, I'm coming. Just know I'm coming. And it's really it's really my teammates. Those guys humble me every day in practice, man. Uh, they yeah. they know they're not they're not afraid of me. They're they're going to go 100 percent every play just like I am. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, I was really proud you came out the top gun with with Hunter and one of your good friends, obviously. And Hunter showed out too. You guys came in and mm -hmm. really represented strong for for Texas. Take this time for coaches that maybe don't know Hunter. Now that you're committed, to shout him out and let him know what he can bring to a program. Hunter Revolve, the hardest working person I've met. I told y'all this a year ago. He he's a steal man. He's a steal. He just ran a 4.47 this morning at 40s. Yeah. He's a steal, man. Yeah, coaches, if you're looking for a middle uh, slot or an outside receiver who is fearless, who is athletic and fast, 
uh, Hunter Vivaldi. We actually have a video. We did a podcast with him uh, late last year. Definitely somebody you need to look at and somebody you need when you go to watch Nick play. Uh, he'll be that other guy like, well, geez, I came to see Nick. Who's this other kid making plays? Because mm-hmm. Hunter flat out can play. So just uh, shout yeah. out to Hunter Vivaldi and, and his dad and uh, and that family. They are, they're a great family too. Uh, you know, Nick, you're moving. I mean, I'm not trying to take away what your senior year. Enjoy that because you're only a senior once. But what do you want the Purdue fans to know about you as you come in this time next year as a freshman? Uh, not just you on the field and what you're going to do to help them win games and win a conference, but you as a person. Tell them, what do you want them to know about you? I'm going to do as much as I can for the community. Anything anything the Bullermakers can do and like, like let me know that I can do to help Bullermakers be better, I'm going to do it. Yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome. And so you're not worried about the weather change. You know, it gets a little cold up there. I mean, I'm sure they're uh, honest about that. I mean, are you, are you ready mm-hmm. to handle that? I don't know about that just yet. Okay. I'm not a fan of the cold. Yeah. Well, you're from Texas. We don't know what cold is up there. That's a whole little mm-hmm. level of cold up there mm-hmm. and probably some snow too. But, you know, when you're on the field, football is football, you know. That's and scary. so when you get that going, you'll be fine there. And you're going to play – I mean, it's such a great – people talk about down here with Texas, Oklahoma, and a and but up there, I mean, playing at Ohio State and Michigan and, you know, Michigan State, there's a lot of history up there. And I look forward you, – you're going to do really, really well up there. It, for Nick, for those, for those fans that don't know about your family, uh, talk, about, talk about your family a little bit, how they made such a big impact in your life and helped get you to where you are today. Man, the, the Boobins, they're amazing people, amazing people. Never, never show me anything but love. My pops, my moms, they're, they're amazing people. Never show me anything but love. I have a younger brother. He's amazing. He's amazing kid. He's, he's on the come up right now. He's an incoming sophomore. He's, I like you, know, it. you gotta watch out for him as well. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So we talked about your school this year. We talked about your climb. Uh, we talked about your commitment to, to Purdue. For those players that are listening and to watch this podcast uh, who are going through the recruiting process also, now that you're done with it, what, what's the one piece of advice you tell them about how to handle and not get lost and caught up in the recruiting, the rankings, and waiting for this all-star, waiting for this game to come, and that kind of stuff? What would be the most important thing you've learned? In fact, let me word it this way, Nick. What would Nick today tell himself, Nick, as a freshman, back when you first started playing varsity? I would tell myself, man, don't worry about offers. They're going to come. Yeah. And, like, I posted a tweet, actually, like, I want to say five, six months ago, I said, I'm going to have All-American on my chest. And it happened. <laughs> Just put my head down and work, man. It happened. So the, don't, don't trip over it if it's not coming now. It's going to come. Yeah. Uh, you know, for those of you that don't know Nick, he's that kind of guy. He, he not only sets goals, he goes out and works. I meet too many athletes across the country in my role with FBU and the All-American game, National Combine and things, uh, where they make a goal, but they ain't grinding for it. And you can't grind on social media. you got to really put in the work when nobody's watching, there's no 24-7 there. There's no rivals there. There's no ESPN or whoever. Uh, talk about those times when you were, because we all go through it as athletes. There are some days you just don't feel it. Like, I don't feel like leg day today. I'm tired. It's hot. I'd rather stay inside and watch the Olympics. What motivates you to say, you know what, let me go put this work in? Like I said earlier, I don't want anybody to pass me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, if they're going to take a day off, I'm going to go even harder that day so I can, I can get past them. You know, you mentioned a good point about the rankings earlier, Nick, because I, I mean, I understand rankings are a big part of it and everything, but I, 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 I'm, I'm sure that I can tell you this. I bet you Purdue did not mention where you were ranked at through uh, rivals 24-7 or where they ranked you at. They just saw you as a player that could fit their program. Talk about how, from your experience, how rankings are all about in high school, but in college, those stars, they get erased once you step on a, high, on a college campus. Talk about that process a little bit. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Those like you, you can be a five star coming out of high school and a walk out and come and take your spot if you're not ready. That's right. It, that is, rankings don't matter, man. Yeah, I hope the hope these kids are listening. To that I mean, I know it's all fun. I know a lot of writers and everything. It's fun, but when you get to college, those stars fall off your name, and you better come to work. And especially at a school like Purdue, uh, that Midwest, that work ethic. Like we're gonna grind because you're gonna be playing Ohio State in nine degree weather. You'll be playing in the big house in Michigan or at a home game in Purdue. They don't care about your stars. They only care. You better be playing like a star every week for them. So, man, Nick, I am so excited for you and the family, man. Uh, I will definitely see you this fall. I will see you down in San Antonio in January, and I'll definitely be there at your signing day, man. I'm, you're one of my favorites, and I, I'm just so happy for where your hard work has paid off, and you're going to have a, a great chance to have a great education and a great athletic experience at Purdue University, man. I appreciate your time tonight, and I'll see you soon, okay? Yes, sir. Thank All right, you, man. Coach. Thanks, Nick.